Hello, this is Douglas Shepard, Phoenician Full Service and Repair. Thank you for watching this video today. Today we're gonna to talk about water levelers, okay? So water levelers, old pools don't have them, and you fill it with a water hose, and you want it to be about middle of the tile, halfway up your skimmer. So you can see on this one, it's a little over the middle. I like it to be a little bit higher so that it doesn't lose prime as easily. Okay, so you either have to keep that with a water hose, which is a pain, or you have an automatic water leveler built into your pool. On your automatic water leveler, you basically have a float that adds water every time it drops, okay? I do have another video on my website that teaches you how to set this, put it in, and do all that. So we're not learning that today, but basically it's like a toilet float when you get it to the right level. Every time the water drops, this will fill up. I'm gonna show you where the shutoff is, but I also wanna teach you really quickly the hole that comes out is connected to this. So if it's ever like your pool is getting lower and this isn't like dropping with it, it's not working, it's very likely that you have a piece of debris stuck between the hole here. Oh, this is it's this one on mine. The hole here. Um, I actually have a little rock in there I have to get out. But you take a coat hanger or something and break it out. You can actually, there's a little small hole in here that you can see. It's harder to see, but right here, there's a hole that goes around, okay? So you can work a coat hanger around. You're not gonna be able to see this too, too deep in there, but it's a little three quarter inch hole. And you can take a coat hanger and go back and forth, knock that debris loose. If it's too clogged, it'll stay even though your pool is dropping. You're just, it's not working. That's, that's one good reason. The other reason is this. We're gonna go over here and look at our source for the water leveler. So on our source for the water leveler, a lot of pools look like this. It's gonna be the closest water spigot that didn't have concrete like surrounding it. This is on, this is off. This is also off, you can just do either one. But if this is off, it's never gonna add water to the pool, okay? So this is on, this is off. If your water leveler breaks and your pool starts overflowing, then just come shut that off and then find the video I have on how to change one out and how to set it to the right level, okay? But sometimes these are hooked up to your landscaping in the front of your house, like it has a separate pipe, but it comes off of that because it has to have a back lock and some builders will just tap into that back lock. You'll also find like a little landscape box with a piece of plumbing sometimes near your pool because they had to connect it to the front of the house. So somewhere it's there, this is how you shut it off. Um, you'll have to figure out where yours is, but once you find it, you just shut the valve to turn it off or to turn it on. All right, thank you for watching today. Um, have a wonderful day. Follow, subscribe, tell your friends, and more videos to come.